Something a little bit newer in the business is the new in-command system. It's been around for a little while and it's actually still being improved pretty much uh, by the day. But it's something that you're going to find on uh, products that are, you know, built with a little extra attention to detail on wiring. Um, in Command is made by the uh, good folks at ASA Electronics. And as far as I can tell, they're basically like the moride of, uh, you know, electrical things. So what is this? Why do you care? Well, um, like you'll find it on a lot of our Keystone products, like our Keystone Fusions, the Legacy Montanas, all of the Cougars now, even the travel trailers. And what's neat is it gives you greater access to things like all of the wiring. And you notice all the different colors in here. That's because Keystone was the very first uh, towable RV manufacturer to color code all of their wiring. But that's uh, kind of an entirely different story for an entirely different day. What is it? Well, it replaces that conventional, uh, less expensive little RV fuse box that you've seen in RVs for so many years. And there's nothing wrong with those. This is just better. There's okay, and there's good, then there's way superior, and that's what this is. Instead of little fuses, you actually have automotive relays. And what I like about these is, like, here in, at Halet RV, we are the only registered RV service facility uh, within, like, several counties. But there are... 41 licensed uh, automotive repair centers in just this county alone. So the chances of you getting new relays like this at any auto parts store are greater and the chances of these failing are far less. Now, so it gives us easier serviceability and it gives us easier self-serviceability right here. But let's say hypothetically that really nice fancy digital touchscreen that they have inside let's say something goes wrong with that like it's really neat when it's working and i have yet to see one actually fail in a year and a half but let's say hypothetically it did or maybe somebody had a bad day or there's a bad game on tv and somebody throws a, a drink and it hits the control panel i don't know but hypothetically if your touchscreen control panel is just flat out jacked up what you can do you can come out here you can choose which slide, uh, which jack, uh, which awning you want to operate, and you can open and close it so you still have a physical switch that you can touch to override this. And uh, the other uh, benefit of this here is that it also has mobile integration. You can get uh, the free app, the in-command app for your phone, and anything that you can do off that control panel, you can actually do right from your phone. So it accomplishes, uh, 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 it solves a lot of uh, challenges other things would have. Like newer features that includes, like it can control heating and cooling. So if you're sitting in your bed at night and uh, you're, uh, you know, getting a little too hot you're, or too cold or whatever, you can just reach over on your nightstand, grab your phone, you can turn the heat up or down, whatever you got to do. And again, God forbid there's some kind of service need. Need. It is easier to uh, to get them resolved here, and it's less likely you're going to need one. So it's just a win-win all the way around. The offset is that it is more expensive than anything else of its kind out there. But that's the difference between good, better, best. From a feature perspective, uh, this is superior. From a price point perspective, it is inferior in that regard. So it's up to you folks to decide, is it worth it to you, and how much does that extra peace of mind matter? And that's why we put these videos together here at Halet RV, so you can make those kind of educated decisions. If you have more questions on in-command or other comparable systems or anything like that, give us a call here, guys. We look forward to hearing from you. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.